Yo, what's up guys? This is Afix, and welcome back to my user settings tutorial series. So, to start off, we're going to need to make a save game class. So, we'll do file, new C++ class, show all classes, and just search up for save game. And click on that one, and let's just call this user settings save game. And then click on create class. Now, the save game class that we're making is how we're going to save our user's settings. It can be used to also save stuff like where the player is in the game for single player games. However, you do not want to use this for multiplayer games since um, it basically stores things locally. Once it is finished compiling your code and adding it to source, we'll open up our user settings save game class. And all we need to add here is a structure. So I'm going to make this public and it'll be you property edit anywhere and it'll be struct f user settings user settings and we have to include that so i'm gonna do hashtag include and it looks buffering there um i'm actually gonna do this in the cpp file so hashtag include yt touch character and yt touch or oops yt touch character Dot h because that is where we define the user settings now what we're going to do is make two methods so here i'm going to call one save settings and another one called load settings now i'm going to implement both of these once those have been implemented we'll go to the save settings and we will create an instance of the save game so you user settings save game pointer save game equals cast you user settings save game you gameplay statics create save game object you user settings save game and we're getting the static class and creating an instance of it now what we're going to do is create a new line and we're going to do save game and we're going to set the user settings of that save game to our user settings. Now over here we're going to actually do the saving so you gameplay statics, save game to slot and we're going to save the save game to the user settings slot and we're going to put zero here. Now what we're going to do is when we're loading settings we'll do uh, we'll copy this part up here and paste it down here and we're going to do create save game object uh, so we can copy this whole line up here and paste it down here and after that we are going to set the save game equal to cast you user settings save game and it'll be you gameplay statics load game from slot and that's going to be user settings and zero and down here we're going to do user settings and we're going to set that to save game arrow user settings now what we're going to do is go into our yt touch character dot h and we're going to do an operator override so uh, it'll be void operator equals and in here we're going to add uh, another f user settings and and we'll make this one a constant so constant f user settings ampersand other and what we're going to do is just set this dot x sends this x sends equals other dot x sends and duplicate that and change that x to a y now the first thing before we build what we're going to have to do is fix up some things in our code so first thing is we're going to move the yt touch character dot h header file from the cpp file of the save game to this header file of the save game and we're also going to remove this u property edit anywhere since it's unnecessary and remove this struct forward declaration now if we go over to yt test character c++ we will have to include the u gameplay statics header file hover over and go here and add include gameplay statics h and we'll also need to include u user settings save game h so 
but for the top you hashtag include user settings save game.h now we have to create some blueprint function so what we'll do is make void bp save settings and void bp load settings and these will both be new function blueprint callable now this is so that when our user changes his or her settings we will be able to save them calling the c++ code right here as we will be using umg for our project so here i'm going to implement both of these functions or rather it would be better if we just made these functions blueprint callable so what I'm going to do is mark these as blueprint callable and get rid of these BP functions. And this is all looking good. So right click on your project and click build. All right, so your build is now successful. So that wraps up the saving our settings part of this tutorial. Next tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the user settings user interface so that the user can actually manipulate his or her settings and possibly testing out the functionality of this save game in a packaged build. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you guys check out in the description below, there will be a Discord link to the server. So if you want to chill out or you have any questions, feel free to join.